What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and many of you have gotten the update for the brand new beta BDD control app. This is the virtual driver control app that is not just for the virtual display driver, it's actually for the virtual audio driver as well. So pretty cool uh, functionality. However, remember this is just a beta. Now, just to ease your concerns, the driver has not changed. If you look at the date, it's actually the exact same driver from December. The only thing that has changed is we've added a new executable that um, has a lot of functionality to control the driver. So that's the only difference here. Um, lots has gone into it, but there's lots still more to come. So all we're gonna do is head over to the releases page because this is not a full release like the uh, December one. This is a beta release. And we're gonna go down to assets and we have the uh, ARM64 and X64 driver, but we currently have the X64 VDD control as well as the setup here. So let's go ahead and download the setup file and we're gonna go ahead and run that. We'll run anyway. And it says the driver is already installed. Would you like to uninstall it? Yes. Are you sure you want to completely remove it? Yes. And it's been removed. So now it's gonna go through the installation. That's just because I already had it. Um, if you go through the update, you'll probably have the exact same thing. Uh, go ahead and choose accept and hit next. Uh, you can go through all the original process of choosing which GPU you'd like to use, as well as how many displays you'd like to create. And here you can choose whether you want just the driver or if you want the new control app. Uh, so we'll include the new control app, obviously, and choose next. Now this is going to install to the C drive slash virtual display driver folder. In the future, we may um, bring back the option to install in a custom location um, if that's heavily requested, but right now the app checks there and um, it just makes it easier. However, um, the app can be updated and it will be updated shortly to detect the actual location via the registry and we can potentially bring that functionality back. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose install. Your screen will likely flash as it adds a new driver and we can see that it has loaded and connected it to the driver. If we go to the virtual display driver menu, you'll see that these have check marks next to the ones that are enabled. Um, so for example, if I wanted to enable logging, I can choose user mode logging, shows that it's on. And if I go to the driver here again, you can see that user mode logging now has a checkbox that shows that it's on. That works the same for any of these functionalities. If you just uh, tap on one of them, it will enable it. If it needs to restart the driver, it will restart the driver and continue from there. Speaking of restarting, there's two different types of driver restarts. Um, generally, you don't have to use any type of restarts unless you're having an issue with the app. So if you go into virtual display driver and choose HDR10, for example, it's actually gonna restart the driver for you and turn on HDR plus here. So um, just like that, it does it all for you. However, if you are having issues with the driver and need to manually restart it, we have a different method of restarting. So normally the driver just restarts itself. Um, if the driver can't communicate with it for some reason or something, we actually have enable, disable, and restart driver. And what these actually do is it's the equivalent of if you went into device manager and you went to display adapters and you found the virtual display driver and you chose to disable, uninstall, or restart it. Um, so this basically is a system command that will restart the driver in that way. But normally you won't have to do that. Um, so most of the options are available in these menus here. We do have a few extra um, options as well. So if you need to get your GPU information, for example, you choose GPU information and you'll see that it gives you the uh, friendly name of your GPU here as well as how much RAM is there. Um, we can also get CPU information, display information if you need the ID of the virtual display and audio information, as well as a community scripts menu. Now this is new. Um, if we do sync from GitHub, it's actually gonna pull all the latest scripts from GitHub and place them here. Um, these are super useful scripts. Most of them are made by um, Yaki and um, he has basically made some um, quality of life scripts for using the display. For example, there's a silent install script. If you are running a headless server and you just need a background install, this will actually do all of the process for you and set it as a main display. Um, there's a toggle VDD um, script that can turn it on and off. 
Uh, lots of really cool scripts here. You can head over to the GitHub to get more information on what these actually do, but most of them are pretty self-explanatory, like change resolution, get display number, things like that. Um, finally, you can minimize this to the tray. And uh, let me go ahead and move my camera. And if we open up the tray menu here, you'll see that you can actually open up the exact same menu and uh, customize all the same options as well as uh, any of the tools and things like that. If you want to open it back up, you just double click and it loads back up into the full window. Furthermore, you also have direct command. So as you may or may not know, the virtual display driver has pipeline commands built in. So you can actually send messages to the display driver such as restart and it will restart. So let's go ahead and type in help right here in the console and hit enter. And you'll see all the commands that we can actually run like restart driver, which is the system version I showed you. Reload driver, which just software restarts it, as well as all of the individual options, including things uh, that aren't in the menu, such as switching the GPU. If you want to switch it from the one you chose during installation, you can use that uh, set GPU command to actually change the GPU as well. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty powerful app. It's not quite finished because there's lots of commands we want to add and more functionality we want to add. But I think it's a pretty cool um, update and hopefully will provide lots of new ways uh, to control and visualize the display driver and virtual audio driver that's coming soon. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a good one. Peace. The games to end up used with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?